hey guys welcome back to my channel today i have another makeup haul for you guys i might have a problem so if you guys get tired of seeing hauls just let me know but i do buy a lot of makeup and before i use it i always want to just share with you guys what i've gotten um so again if you do get tired of seeing all these hauls and seeing what i get then just let me know um, let me know what else you would like to see instead of hauls. Um, I can do some first impressions, things like that, kind of like try on hauls. So that way it's a little bit more than just me telling you what I got. So before we get started, and if you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave. Make sure you hit that bell. That way you're notified for when I upload. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys would like to see from me in the future and what your favorite products are. And then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you do like hauls. That way I know to keep hauling my makeup for y'all. So let's just jump right into the video because it might be a long one. Okay, so before we get started, let me just go ahead and throw out there that these are products from Sephora, Ulta, Morphe, Kathleen Lights polish, things like that. So it is going to be a wide range of products for y'all. The first thing I got was the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I am in the shade 1N1, which is a ivory nude. I actually did use this already, and it is a little bit too pale for my skin, but I do have a Cover FX um, foundation that I bought when I was tanning that's a little too dark. So I just kind of mix the two together, and it gives me like the perfect foundation shade. So this one is a full coverage foundation, and I have been loving it. The next thing I picked up was the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. It just comes in like this little roll-up tube. Looks kind of like this. It is just a stick primer. I went ahead and picked up the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment Mask. And this product, you guys, I did use it, and I just went ahead and got the small one. It is a lot smaller than their full size, but I have so many masks. I don't think I will ever go through a full actual Glam Glow mask because, like I said, I just have so many. So I just wanted to get the smaller ones now. That way I can still have them in my collection, but the products won't go bad before I have a chance to actually use it all. So I think these were like $22.00. Or something like that compared to like 69 for the big one so it is pretty good steal the next thing was this pro crease brush it's the number 10 sephora brush it is just a blending crease brush and you guys i have to say this brush has completely changed my eyeshadow game it fits like perfectly right in that crease it is super soft you don't get that kind of rough feeling from blending too much get this brush. I think it's actually on sale at Sephora too for I think like $11. So grab it if you can. The next thing I got was this a Sephora felt tip liner. It is waterproof. It's in the shade Army Babe and it is just a green felt tip liner and I am wearing it today as my wing liner. But it, it's a little bit liquidy, but I kind of like that because it, it dries pretty quick, so it doesn't, like, run down or anything, but it does get the job done, and it, 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 it's great. I mean, it's, it's a little watery, but a little dry at the same time. I don't even know if that makes sense, but I think it's a little liquidy, but it dries so fast that it's hard to, like, smudge it out, so you just have to keep going back over it, but for $14, it wasn't a bad deal. The next thing I got was just a tattoo liner by Kat Von D. Everybody has seen this product. It is just a felt tip liner in the shade black. I just needed another one, so I picked it up. I did grab one of these Marc Jacobs highliners. I saw a, I think it might have been Jaclyn Hill who used like the turquoise color one, but I had to get one for myself. So the packaging just looks like this. It is just a sleek silver packaging, and I got the shade in the buff, which is kind of like a metallic silver, like, highlighting shade. And I don't know if y'all can see that, but that is just right here what that looks like. It's just a very metallic, shiny highlighting shade. 
and it's just for the lower waterline. I mean, I guess you could really use this anywhere. I mean, it's makeup, so you can do whatever you want, but I think this was $25, but I'm super excited to try this in my waterline to see how well it can, like, brighten up my look. Okay, again, for a mask, I picked up the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask, which is, like, a pore clearing mask. It is not a peel-off mask. I did think this was a peel-off mask. I don't know why, but it's actually a wipe off mask so you just wipe it off with a wet cloth um i did use it the other day and my skin just felt really tight and it felt like it did kind of clean my pores out i did this one and then did the glam glow hydrating mask and y'all after i did both of those masks together my skin felt phenomenal okay so i did pick up two more of the stila magnificent metals in the last haul that I did, I got this Smoky Storm shade, but I'm going to go ahead and re-swatch this one for y'all too so that you can kind of see all three of them. So that one is this shade Smoky Storm. And the two new ones that I picked up are Diamond Dust and Kitten Karma. I'm going to go ahead and swatch those for you as well. And these are so glittery, y'all. Like, So this one is Smoky Storm. This one is Diamond Dust, and this one is Kitten Karma, and these are the three Magnificent Metals that I have now. Um, they do retail for, I think, $24, and it does kind of have, like, this doe foot applicator on it, which makes it so easy to apply. I, I mean, I literally just get right in there, and you can do any kind of night out look with these. They are amazing. And you guys, sorry if I'm going through these products kind of fast. I am trying to like not make another 20 minute video. So I apologize. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll answer them um, in the comments. So the next thing that I picked up was this Tardius Pro Glow To Go palette. I did want to grab this little travel size one just because the bigger one has a lot of um, colors in it that I don't think that would look good on me so when you open it up of course it does have this big mirror and these are just the three shades that come in the palette you have two kind of like highlighting shades and then you have one bronzing shade and this bronzing shade is actually a really pretty shade and then of course these two highlighting shades so they're really pretty colors that is what they look like swatched on the hand so I went ahead and grabbed that just so that I would have it when I traveled. The next item I picked up was the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lip. It is just a Sephora Favorites lip set. It has a Too Faced Melted Matte, a Bite Lipstick, an Urban Decay Vice Lipstick, the Marc Jacobs Lipstick, a Buxom Liquid Lipstick, or that might be a gloss. I'm not really sure if that's a lipstick or a gloss. And it has a Estee Edit Lip Liner. The next thing that I picked up, this was actually just a 500 point perk at Sephora. Um, it is a Too Faced Bite Size Beauty Kit. And it comes with all of this. It comes with the little chocolate bar Too Faced palette. It comes with a shadow insurance. It a deluxe melted lipstick in chocolate honey and then a deluxe better than sex mascara so you do get all four of these products in this kit and I, of course i picked up two one for you one for me so um i'll go ahead and open mine so this is what the chocolate bar palette looks like it doesn't have a mirror in it i mean you can't complain for it being perk it does smell like chocolate and these are the shades that come in it and again, these are all three, just three deluxe products. You have the Melted Lipstick, the Better Than Sex Mascara, and the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up, you guys already know, of course, the new Anastasia Glow Kit. And it does not have a mirror, which is kind of disappointing, but I mean, whatever. And these are the shades that are in it. And I know that everybody has... Um, done swatches for these but i'll just go ahead and give you guys a swatch and these are all six of those shades swatched on my hand they are all gorgeous all pigmented all shimmery shiny glowy shades this first shade here i know it's kind of hard to see at the angle that it's at on my wrist that is in the shade kitty cat it is just a light pink rosy color 
This next one is again another light pink color and it is in the shade Forever Young. This third one is a darker peach color in the shade Daydream. This bright pearl iridescent color is in the shade Forever Lit. This soft gold color is Glow Getter and that's actually what I'm wearing today as my highlighter is the Glow Getter shade. And then this last deeper bronzier shade is 143. All these shades are so glowy and pigmented. I mean, for $40, y'all, just buy this. Just, just buy it. You will not regret it, okay? You will not regret it. I did pick up six of the new Sephora lip stains. Y'all, I think they have like 40 shades and they are so pretty. These are like a cream lip stain and I am wearing, I think it's this one today. So it is in the, I have like them pulled up on my phone because on here it has like the number of the shade, but it doesn't actually show the actual name. It just says cream lip stain on the side and that's it. So I'm using my phone for my purchase history to see exactly what colors I got. So this one is in the shade 25. It is what I'm wearing today. And this one is in the shade Coral Sunset. So that one is the shade Coral Sunset. So the next one I got is in the shade 38. And this one is the shade Sweet Raspberry. This one's kind of just a berry shade. The next shade is the number 24 Burnt Sienna, and that is what that shade looks like. It is just a burnt deep brown color. It does have a little bit of a reddish purple undertone to it. This fourth shade is in the number 42 Rosewood, and it is just kind of like a deep brick color. This next one is kind of almost like a nude color. It is in the shade Pink Frosting, and that is what that shade looks like. It's kind of just like a purple undertone nude shade. And the last shade that I got is, if you guys haven't noticed, I tend to stick to the, like, natural red browns. And this one is, like, very out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to grab something that was out of my comfort zone because... I want to start doing new looks and new tutorials and, you know, just off the wall stuff. And this one is in the shade 31, Siren Song, and it is just this Tiffany's Blue. It is so pretty and so pigmented. You guys, these lip stains are everything. They aren't completely dry. Like, they will kind of come off your lips if you rub them and things like that, but they are creamy and they don't make your lips feel over drying and they just stay. And one pump out of this did my entire mouth today. So as you guys can see, these colors are gorgeous and the color payoff is amazing. The last things that I did purchase, I did place an order for the Kathleen Lights Polish. I think it's called KL Polish. And these are the shades I picked up. This is in the shade Das Expensive. And this is just a shimmery gold color. I picked up the shade Broccoli and Chocolate. And it is just this deep brown color. I grabbed Brick Sidewalk. And it is just a burnt brick red color. I picked up the shade Zoe, which is just, again, like a pinkish purple nude shade. And then I picked up this, I think it's called Gupton, but it is just this dark, deep blue color. It is such a pretty color. I think this is the one I'm going to use next on my nails. I did order the um, Star Palette by Natasha Denona, but it came in broken, so I had to take it back to the store and reorder it, and it's still not here. It says it's supposed to be delivered today, but my mail's already ran, so I don't know if it'll come at, as a packet. It is 3 o'clock in the afternoon, um, so hopefully it will come today. If it does, I'll kind of just make its own video and do like a swatch review if you guys want to see that. So let me know. Um, or I could do kind of like a look with it. So y'all just leave me a comment. And let me know what you want to see. Um, I also placed a order at Kat Von D. They had a friends and family sale for 20% off. So I went ahead and just picked up another of my Holy Grail Tattoo Lock Foundation. And I did 
pick up their powder and their concealer. I've never tried their concealer or powder, so I've heard good things about them. So with the 20% off, I just went ahead and grabbed that. So I'll kind of do like a first impressions foundation with the foundation and the concealer and the setting powder. That is all for my haul video. Once again, before you leave, don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.